Dreams includes an audio analysis tool to help you optimise the audio in your creations. In this scene, we've got a few different sound sources. Some looping ambient sounds, creating some atmosphere in the scene, and some fire sounds coming from the timer-triggered flamethrower trap. To analyse the audio in the scene, we need to switch to test mode using the modes menu. Test mode contains useful tools to help you analyse the performance of your scene. To analyse audio, select Analysis, then Analyse Audio. When Analysis is active, you can playtest your scene just as if you were in play mode. While you playtest, the tool records the audio activity in two thermometers. On the left, you can see Audio Cost, which measures the total cost of all the sounds playing in the scene. If that thermometer fills up, no more sounds will be able to play. On the right, you can see the total number of sound instances and their associated voices and grain cost. Every time the flamethrower makes a sound, you can see that it increases the number of sound instances and voices. Each sound instance is able to create one or more voices. For a sound effect, there will be a single voice. But for a music clip, each note creates a new voice. Press Options to stop analysing and view the analysis overview. Now the data has been collected, we can examine it to see where the audio is most expensive. The graph shows you how each value changed over time during the playtest. You can scrub along the graph by holding X over it. To the right of the graph, you can see a replay of what was happening at the time. You can see that as different enemies entered the battle, introducing more sounds, the audio became more expensive. As the Ancient Dangers kit is already optimised, the audio cost doesn't cause any performance issues in the scene. But if you do find that you need to optimise the audio in one of your scenes, there are a few different things you can try. In this scene, we have a repeating sound. Each active sound gadget creates a sound instance. But if a sound is still active when it's triggered again, it's possible for the same gadget to cause multiple sound instances and voices. By tweaking this sound effect, we can manage its cost to an extent. On the Options tab of the Tweak menu, there's a slider to control the polyphonic limit of the sound. This slider allows us to limit the number of simultaneous voices this sound can have, reducing its cost. Here we have a music clip. Even though it's only counting as one sound instance, we can see that the different notes are creating new voices. As the notes sustain and harmonise, we're hearing multiple voices simultaneously. To reduce this music clip's cost, we could tweak the ADSR envelope of the instrument on the filter page of the tweak menu to shorten the release and reduce overlapping sounds. We could also adjust the polyphonic limit, as we did before. For a music composition like this, each music clip on the timeline creates a new sound instance with multiple voices. To reduce the cost of this piece, we could either reduce the number of instances by deleting sounds we don't need from the timeline, or we could try adjusting the polyphonic limit of the sounds themselves. But if you want to get really granular with your optimization, you might want to look at the grain cost of sounds. Grains are what voices in dreams are made of, the way paintings and sculptures are made of flex. Most voices have a grain cost of one, but they can be more expensive. 
Here's a version of the heart clip we heard before, but its grain cost is much higher. If we open its tweak menu and go to the granular synthesis page, we can see that grain overlap is increased. On the granular randomization page, it also has a fair bit of randomization set. Granular tweaks give you lovely rich sounds, but they do increase the grain cost. Optimising sounds in music will often mean trading off aspects like the number of voices or tracks, an instrument's polyphony, or the richness created by the granularity settings. You'll need to strike a balance between optimising your sounds and achieving your desired results. <laughs>